Guys, this is the only time that I I get to respond to you guys. And I just the video just went live. So um, I'm getting a bike. Oh. I'm sorry I can't reply now on some of your comments. Because I'm on. Hello guys, we're here in Stolby today and um, the river has come down quite a fair amount and once again our main focus is going to be on a big cob or any size cob for that matter but mainly big cob because I want to catch that 100 pound cob and film it for you guys but I've got a life boat out so that is waiting patiently for a bite and um, the water is coolish, but I think I'm gonna get a little snack for a, a Blu ray. See if I can't catch a Blu ray and maybe if the Blu rays aren't here yet because um, we've been waiting for them early October and they should arrive any, any day now. And the formation and the color of the water, the temperature of the water looks really good for Blu rays. So I'm gonna make a throw for a Blu ray and once it gets dark well, who knows maybe i'll throw a big bait for a negative shark as well but main focus once again big cob and uh, <laughs> love to get that under front cob and fall yes boys there's a boat live mullet i was still Making a trace for the Blu-ray. Now there's an inquiry at my life bag. Feel it there. It's not going down. Okay. And we've got it on. What is this? Sorry, last week. Um, just don't know if this one is a cod. 
Alright, first throw. Paul preparing my second rod. And um, I just heard a shout and there's my rod going. So, let's hope it is a cock. Well, I'll shake there. Guys, I'm really sure this is another cob. It really feels like a cob. See that? That tells me that it's a cob. And, um, but it might be wrong and it might be a spotted gully or something as well. Or a raggy pipe, but it feels a lot like a, a cob at this stage. If it was a shark, I reckon we would have seen a dorsal fin by now. But I don't see any dorsal fin. So this might be might be a cop, I really hope so. Of course it's a cop now. Hi. Kabeljou. Onze kabeljou zijn nou zo so licht raak en hij komt recht in. Guys, it's on the tail. It feel like a bad fish either. The I tail didn't it, look too bad. I thought it was. I saw the tail earlier on. I Guys, I think once again, this is why I fish with circle hooks for cob. Hooks it perfectly in the corner and um, makes for a really safe release and you're not hurting the fish and it won't die. So let's get it back. Take one quick photo here, quick lift for you guys. Ah, look at this guys. Ah. Not as big as the fish in last week's video. But it's a good in nonetheless, and uh, yeah, it's getting quite heavy, so let's get it back. Uh. Guys, I love these fish. And we have to take care of them. That's why we need to safely release them, work quick with them, get them back in the water as soon as possible. And uh, you guys will see this fish will swim off really strong. And uh, yeah, really soaked, guys. Oh, 
Once again, don't put your hands in the fuel plates, keep it around the bottom jaw and um, won't be long and she will be off really strong. Up her upright. Just be patient. So, that's it guys, you see if you work quick with the fish, keep it close to the water, use circle looks, don't pick it up by the gills, support it underneath the belly and they will go back quickly, 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 no problems, no issues. And um, what a great release again. Shot guys. Camera guys. So I just want to quickly show you guys how I rig my live mullet. There is a dedicated video on my channel on how I do it. So you guys can, can go and have a look on how to rig a live mullet. But just to show you guys again. There's a little piece of Dacron that I um, put on my hook. Make a little loop just for my cable tie to go through. And then just wanna just wanna show you guys from here. We take a, a cable tie and we go through the eyes out on the other side. So make sure that lens is clean. Now really important is you want your you want your hook to face up. So just make sure you hook it from the right side in. And then your cable tie goes through that little loop that, uh, that I made. And then you just close your cable tie. Just like that. Clip the tag it off. That is your mullet rigged. And um, it, what this helps is it stays with the current as the, the current goes over it, the, the, the fish's head stays right in the current and um, stays alive much longer. But yeah, guys, it's not gonna stay alive much longer out of the water, so let me get this thing in the water. Second live bait is out. I finally finished my trace, and um, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how my trace is. Got a 100 pound braided leader that goes in a quick release clip. I've showed you guys this before. That is from Jefferson Leroux. He makes these. They're really lacquer, and I really enjoy them because they're 0.90. That is about 1.2 meters long, and then just a little stopper there with a sliding sliding T-swivel on there just for a little bit give so I'm fishing for a Blu-ray slash cob but I have a little piece of wire on um, just in case there is a small raggy pup in the water or small bronzy or something like that um, with the color of the water at the moment that piece of wire is not going to make any difference it's not going to chase the fish away it's not going to leave you and you're still going to get the bite and it's all going to be perfect and uh, yeah, just a just just as a reminder, um, all the tackle that I use is available from Still Fishing. Um, that's where I purchase all my tackle. So you guys are welcome to to visit the online shop. The online shop is www.stillfishing.com. And if you guys go in the online shop, if you want to support Zulu Fishing, you can do so. Once you you can um, use my promo code ZLF and a little piece of that of every purchase goes towards Zulu Fishing and um, that just helps the channel um, and that just helps me to create these videos for you guys 
So I really appreciate that. I see quite a few sales going through under the ZLF code. So guys, I really, really, really want to thank you. And I really appreciate it. It is awesome of you guys. And um, that helps fund these videos. Pays a little bit of my bait. Pays a little bit of the fuel. Um, it's really not a lot. But I don't make money out of it. I don't make money out of this channel. But that does help a little bit because it is quite expensive running this channel. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. You can either go in through the website that I mentioned now or down in the bottom in the description. The link will be in that description. You guys can just um, you can guys you can just click on the link and that will direct you directly to still fishing and um, no, like I said every purchase that you guys make a little bit goes towards that LF and then you know, let's get back to the bait that I'm using you guys will see there's a lot of blood in this bait um, the cop tend to like a bit of um, sardine or a bloody bait when there's a lot of color in the water Here's our little choco bait or blue ray and like I said a cob will chow it as well. One beat it. Let's get some blue ray or a cob. This heavy horizon, 15 foot, <laughs> throws really like it. And then this new 30 pounds Ultra Tech from JDB. Amazing stuff. It's like there's no line on. It just flies off your reel. Throws really well. Damn it! I don't know how I missed that fish. It was like I didn't have a hook on. <laughs> but I think it was a small bronzy. But um, getting cold now. It's getting chillos. That's better. Much better. Yeah, just got a pull there. Come on, 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 I presume it was small bronzy as well. Yeah. yeah, so this might be a small bronzy. Maybe he's lucky in a smaller cob. But um, I reckon it's something small. Yeah, small bronzy. <laughs> Look at this little bronzy. There's the life bait hanging out of the mouth. Circular got him. Dead center, or almost center. Still so small, look at that. That right there, that's its umbilical slit. Um, still a little pup. Yeah, let's get him back. Huh? Is Pierre, Pierre we're fishing for cob, eh? No, not quite a cob, but uh, a fish is a fish. You know <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. Faster. Thing 
they going to be a pest? So check that other life bait of mine as well. And that thing might be child as well. Baby bronze whaler. Because it might be small, but um, I'm really glad to see them. It is sure sign of the summer fish that are here. And yeah, they here, uh, the big mama should be just around the corner. Cheers, boy. Yeah, look at this. The small bronzes are being a pest now. It's eating my bloody life bait intended for a cob. And um, yeah, that's the result. Ah. So guys, this is the only time that I I get to respond to you guys. And um, I just the video just went live. So um, I'm getting a bike. Oh. Sorry, I can't reply now on some of your comments because I'm on. Just a small bronzy this time, I think. You guys see, I was, the video just went public and um, I wanted to respond to one of you guys. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you're not yet subscribed to Zulu Fishing, now's the time to get subscribing. Come on, small bronzy. small bronzy and um, you know that video just went live or public and um, reading some of the comments this video just went public and um, so I'm filming a lane video network for the tags where I can begin to die like so line by the sink is to the bar and Gashlin Govinda, great video, thanks bud. There's Aaron's comment, lekker. So yeah, Aaron's lekker. And um, guys, yeah, please like the videos, please share them. Um, keep engaging, I love it guys. And um, while you guys are watching the video, I'm making another one. So let's get a line in the water to catch some more fish. again little bronze whaler little female um, yeah, they're being a real pest tonight but yeah anyway it is fun it stays fun remember guys you have to have fun this light is bright so yeah guys this is um, the end of the session those bronzies got really irritating 
and um, sorry my light is still on the, those bronzes got really irritating and um, they charred every single life plate but we're done we're gonna get head off home and uh, Pierre yep. thanks for joining me thank you very like much like very, yeah. very nice thank you thoroughly enjoyed myself we'll be back done for a cold one but yeah guys so um, yeah, more fishing videos to come. Um, still hunting that 100 pound cob, looking for that fish, and I'm sure we're gonna find it. Um, well, Coptober has certainly started, and my Coptober, well, you guys have seen, hasn't started too bad. And um, yeah, what can I say? Besides, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from Zuluk Fishing, hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you'll be notified once I upload a new video so I'll catch you guys in the next one